Good day, all you wonderful people. It's once again for me, Obeya, and the great privilege to spend some time with your children, teachers, and parents and to talk to you about children with character, our salt and light. And today I want to talk to you about the characteristic and the value of faithfulness. But what does faithfulness mean? The dictionary explains it like this. Someone with a deep sense of duty and dedication. Punctual by appointment, keep his promises, don't change his convictions, keep his word, who is reliable, accurate, and precise. But how many people do you know that is like this? Unfortunately, there are not very many faithful people. The only faithful person who ever lived is Jesus. We can always depend on Him. Today, we will look into God's faithfulness in the Word of God. What does the Bible say? Let's have a look. Psalm 108, verse 5. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens, and your glory above all the earth. The Bible tells us here that we need to exalt God above the heavens. Now, if you look up into the heavens, it's quite far. And so that he can, His glory will be above all the earth. And that's why we need to be faithful because that's how big God's faithfulness is. Psalm 109 verse 9 says, Your faithfulness endures to all generations. You establish the earth and it abides. He is faithful from generation to generation. That means when you look at your grandmother's life, how God cared for her, you can see it in your mother's life. And it will be just like that in your life and the lives of your children and again their children. So you can know if you choose Jesus as your king, then you choose life, not only for, you, for yourself, but also for your children and your children's children. God is faithful from generation to generation. God also keeps his promise. Numbers 23 verse 19 in the Bible says, God is not a man that he should lie, nor a son of man that he should repent. Has he said and he will not do? Or has he spoken and he will not make it good? My dear friends, it is not possible for him to lie. He is not like a human being. If he gives us a promise in his word, he, we can trust him to keep that promise. He never changes. Hebrews 13 verse 8 says, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. If he had been faithful in the past, as in biblical times, he will be faithful today and in the future. He will not let us down. So his love for you will never change. Jeremiah 31 verse, verse 3 says, Yes, I have loved you with all an everlasting love. Therefore, with loving kindness, I have drawn you. God is faithful to us because He loves us. He pulls us close and He wants to have a friendship, a relationship with us and it will never change. In God's Word, we find many other places that speak of His faithfulness. Psalm 86 verse 15 says, But you, O Lord, are a God full of compassion and gracious, long-suffering and abundant in mercy and truth. 1 Corinthians 1 verse 9 says, God is faithful by whom you were called into the fellowship of His Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. So my friends, God is faithful. If we are faithless, He remains faithful. We may be unfaithful, but He is faithful. He cannot be unfaithful to His own principles. So what can we do practically here on earth to be faithful? Let's have a look. At home, be faithful in what your parents give you to do. At school, be faithful at doing your schoolwork and homework and do it carefully and accurately. And with your friends, be honest and faithful in your friendships. In your extracurricular activities, attend it faithfully and practice as your coach says. We must strive to always do it, not just sometimes. People must look at us and they must see faithfulness in every part of our lives. Our faithfulness must be the norm and not the exception. People must be able to say, you are a faithful boy or girl. You can always be dependent on. I wish I was like that. It's when people see this in us and want to be like that, then we are salt and light. And my dear friends, faithfulness, quite a difficult characteristic that we, have, that we must have. So children with character that is faithful, pray together and we ask God to help and assist us. You're all welcome to pray with me. Thank you, Father God, that you are always faithful. From generation to generation, we can depend on you. Your love for me has not end, 
and I know you are always there when I call to you. Lead me to strive to be like you. I want to be salt of the earth and light of the world, and I can only do it through your spirit that leads me. In Jesus' name, amen. My dear friends, I had a wonderful time talking to you about children with character, our salt and light. And remember, we need to be faithful. And definitely it's not easy to be faithful to, to people and, and to God, but we must look at God and look at His example and how faithful He is. He is and never change. I'm looking forward to spending some time with you again. Until next time, goodbye.